How was your experience in The Ultimate Fighter? Um, it, it was brilliant, to be honest. I uh, really enjoyed it. I, fe I feel like I learned a lot from it. Um, it was, at the time, it was horrible missing the kids, you know. Uh, that was really hard. But, uh, but overall, I'm pleased I did it. And how does it feel getting a second chance? Uh, obviously, fighting in the O2 arena as well. Um, is that added pressure for you? No, no, I think I'm, I think it's a bonus, to be honest, you know, I, I've always wanted to fight in the O2, I think it's one of the best stadiums in Europe, and uh, to be fighting on a UFC card in my home country, it's just uh, it's just amazing. You've got a lot of support coming down for you? Yeah, yeah, I've got um, quite a few down, coming down from my hometown, yeah. Um, and you're fight fighting Roland, what do you think of him as an opponent for you? Um, yeah, he's tough, he's really tough, he always comes to fight. Uh, Probably a bit more of a bit more of a grappler than a striker, but still dangerous on his feet. Um, so I think it's going to be a really good fight. Yeah. Do you think you're going to have any advantages over him on Saturday? Um, I think I'll, I think I'll probably a bit better in the striking department. To be honest, I think I'm a little bit more comfortable stood up than him, and um, and hopefully my strength will come into play as well. How do you feel the um, fight will pan out? Um, I mean, it's a fight. Anything can happen, really. But I'm just planning on getting my hand raised at the end of it. Were you happy that the UFC was able to give you a fight so soon after, obviously, the tough finales? Yeah, I mean, I just wanted to get straight back in there. I didn't take any time off from training. Just got right back in there. I mean, uh, I was a bit disappointed with my last performance and just want to go and try and uh, right a few wrongs. And obviously, you trained with Phil Harris um, during this camp. Can you just talk about who approached who, why that decision was made and how it went for you? Yeah, I mean, uh, it was uh, it was Phil's coach who actually got in touch with us and uh, asked us if I'd like to come down and do a bit of training at Gym 01. And, uh, and it just seemed like a really good idea at the time, you know, there's some good lads down there. Um, there was Vaughan Lee who was also fighting in the UFC and uh, it seemed like a good decision to go down and do a bit of training down there. And does it make it a little bit easier when you've got someone that's fighting on the same card as you to go through the media experiences and the weight cut and, and the whole kind of experience leading up to fight night? Yeah, I mean, it's always nice to swap and then change little tips, you know, uh, I can learn a, bit, learn a little bit off everyone. So yeah, it was nice. Now you're back home after the tough finales. Have you just noticed that there's more coverage here for MMA, more coverage here for you, more coverage for the UFC? Have you noticed that you've got more friends and family approaching you, uh, you know, behind the scenes as well? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it seems. It's, I mean, it's getting bigger and bigger all the time, and uh, the UFC PR have kept us pretty busy doing various bits and bobs. So it's good. It's nice to see that it's finally getting the coverage it deserves. What's the main difference um, from say fight week during the tough finales when people were still kind of getting to know you during the season and the finale itself compared to fight week here in London in your home country? Um, I mean it, it's all it's just the same to me really you know it's like uh, fight week's fight week it's it's um, I've got my weight to get down and everything so I, I just feel the same every time it's going to be a fight of the weekend you know. And how's the weight cut going for you? Uh, it's going spot on I woke up perfectly what I wanted to be this morning so I'm really happy. So no full English today? No <laughs> no full English. <laughs> Now, you're facing Roland Delorme. He's uh, coming off a pretty close decision loss. Uh, yeah. I was wondering, have you seen his fight against Alex Caceres, and how did you have it scored? Yeah, I mean, uh, I watched it. I thought I thought it was the right decision, personally. Mm -hmm. uh, but I thought it was a really exciting fight. It was, uh, like, back and forth. Um, and uh, but, but I think it was the right decision in the end, to be honest. And uh, as mentioned previously, you spent some time in Ultimate Fighter. What would you say is the best and the worst about uh, spending so much time in that house? I mean, the best bit is the, the coverage you get, the, the opportunities that can come from it. But the worst bit is it's, it's missing your family, without a doubt. You know, it was horrible to have six weeks with no contact with any of my kids or my fiance or anything. Um, there was, I can't think of anything worse, to be honest, but you've just got to put it to the back of your mind and you know you're there like, for the best, to be honest. In previous seasons of The Ultimate Fighter, we've seen some fighters try to break the rules by making contact with their families and friends. With such a long time away from your family and your children, was there any part of you that sort of wanted to maybe try to break rules, maybe send an email or get a phone call? Um, yeah, I mean, it would have crossed my mind, but I wouldn't have done it. It's not worth putting your, putting like, putting like everything on the line, you know. What's the point in going in there to go and chuck it all away? You know, you've just got to suck it up and get on with it. Now, you first spent time in Ultimate Fighter, then you fought one fight in the UFC. This is your second fight. Yeah. Do you feel like you're sort of starting to come into your own? You're starting to feel maybe a bit more established as a UFC fighter? Um, yeah, hopefully. I mean, uh, I, I mean, I, I think um, I think I'm fighting a lot better than what I did last time, so I'm hoping to be a lot more comfortable come Saturday night. And uh, what lessons uh, do you feel you've learned from uh, losing the tough finale to Chris Holdsworth? Um, I mean, I think I've got, I've got to sort of not, not go out with as much much, I don't know, I don't know it's, uh, it's hard to put, but uh, I just wanted to win too much, I think, do you know, and I was just trying to knock his head off with every punch, so um, I've just got to calm down and, and take my time and, and, and get my techniques right.
So you're maybe a bit too nervous and excited for yeah, the Yeah, I mean, fight. it was a big fight. There was, there was a lot of pressure and stuff. Um, so hopefully I'm just I'm going to try and learn from all that and maybe a little bit more experience now. And uh, hopefully everything comes right at the night. Uh, finally, uh, David, we've got Joanne Calderwood, who's going to be heading into the same experience you went through. She's going to be in the, the first all-female season of, of The Ultimate Fighter, and she's going off pretty soon um, to Vegas. Is there any kind of advice or words of wisdom that you can give her to help her in that experience? Um, I mean, to be honest, she's, uh, she, I mean, she's a brilliant fighter. I think she'll let her fight and do the talk. And, but you've just got to keep your head down and, and just get on with it. The hard part's in the house. It's putting up with the boredom and, uh, and just not letting it get to you. You know, so you've just got to be headstrong, know what you're there for, and uh, and concentrate on the fighting, and try, and just try and try and let everything else take a back seat. To be honest, did the fact that you um, you obviously quite close with Mike Wooten prior to going into the Ultimate Fighter, did that help you out a lot? Having somebody who was already an existing friend. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that helped out loads. Uh, we we already had we already had a, a, you didn't have to make friends because you already had one and there was always like it was always like your confidant and I knew I could tell things to I I could trust them we weren't out to stab each other in the back um, we were really good mates and uh, to be honest I, I was always hit on really lucky so every time there was like I mean other people say when they're having conversations or I didn't fancy being around anyone else then there's always someone someone you've got close to you who you can go back to when it was it was it was really good to have Mike there. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Davey. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.